Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to discuss how to subtract mixed numbers. And as you can see, there are two problems on your screen that we're going to go through in order to get this down. So let's jump right in to number one. And for number one, we have five and three fourths minus two and a half. So the first thing I like to do when subtracting or adding mixed numbers, I like to rewrite the problem vertically up and down. So I'm going to underneath my original problem, rewrite five and three fourths minus two and a half. Now notice I have my fractional part of the mixed numbers lined up and the whole number part of the mixed numbers lined up. Now what you need to do, we need to subtract the fractional part first. Now just like when we add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. And obviously a denominator of 4 and 2, we don't have the same denominator. So we're going to need to rename both these mixed numbers, the fractional part of the mixed numbers, with a common denominator. So let's think what's going to be our common denominator for a 4 and a 2. Hopefully you're thinking 4, so let's rename these mixed numbers. Well, 5 and 3 fourths already has a denominator of 4, so we can keep it as is. Now 2 and a half though, we're going to need to rename. So let's think. 2 times 2 gives me that denominator of 4, so I need to do the same thing to the top in order to properly rename. Uh, so we would do 1 times 2 is 2. Now we have our problem rewritten with a common denominator. Now subtract the fractional parts and then the whole number parts. So 3 fourths minus 2 fourths, well, 3 minus 2 is 1. Keep our denominator of 4 the same and then do 5 minus 2, which gives us 3. Always look to see if the answer can be simplified, the fractional part. 1 fourths, 1 fourth is in lowest terms, so we are done. The solution or answer to number 1 is 3 and 1 fourth. Let's take a look at number 2. Let's rewrite the problem vertically, which means, which means up and down. 7 and 1 third minus 3 and 5 sixths. All right, let's do the fractional part first. We do not have a common denominator, so we will need to rename with a common denominator. So a 3 and a 6, let's think. Hopefully we're thinking a common denominator of 6. So 7 and how many sixths? Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2 minus 3, 5 6 already has a denominator of 6. So there is our rewritten problem. So let's subtract the fractional part. 2 6 minus 5 6. Well, we can't do that because we cannot do 2 minus 5. So just like a whole number um, subtraction problem, we need to borrow to uh, be able to do the fractional part of this problem. So how you do that with mixed numbers, we're going to borrow one from this seven, and it's going to turn to a six. And we're going to add one whole to that two sixths. Now, I'm gonna write one whole as six over six, so I can add it to that fractional part. They need a common denominator in order to add that whole there. So again, six over six is one whole. I just put it with a denominator of six. So now we have six holes, right? And then two plus six is eight. Keep my denominator of six. Subtract. 3 and 5 sixths. 
Now we could do eight minus five is three, keep my denominator of six, and then we have six minus three is three. Check to see if we can simplify the fractional part, and we can. A common factor between three and six is three, so I can divide by three to get the fractional part in lowest terms. And this actually turns out to be three and a half. That would be our final answer there. So there you have it. There's how you subtract mixed numbers. Rewrite the problem vertically. See if you need a common denominator. Rename if you do. Then go ahead and subtract the fractional part, then the whole number part. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.